I believe just recently you've been looking at uh, another adventure for Heracles, but a, a much more recent one in which he, he's actually travelled to places that he never reached even in antiquity. And he did quite a lot of travelling, I understand. Absolutely. Heracles is very much the archetypal traveller in antiquity. His labours take him you know, to furthest west and to uh, furthest uh, east um, of the then known world. What they couldn't possibly have anticipated is his travels to New Zealand. Um, and I have indeed been uh, looking at the work of a contemporary uh, artist in New Zealand. Um, she's based in Christchurch. She's called Marianne Maguire. Um, and she does these uh, fantastic prints. She's done a series that's actually entitled The Labours of Heracles, um, in which uh, Heracles, an image, um, she, she takes an image exactly from a vase, very much like we've just been looking at, um, and she puts him in a New Zealand context, and more precisely into a 19th, early 19th century New Zealand context, when New Zealand was first being um, uh, colonised by Northern Europeans. Um, and so Heracles is trying hard to uh, clear the land, um, trying hard to uh, interact with uh, the local uh, Maori people. Um, sometimes he's fighting them, although uh, also some of the prints get him kind of on slightly better terms towards the end of things. So these are even more labours of Hercules, but they're set in a New Zealand context. Absolutely. We could very much call this, you know, the 13th and then some uh, labours of Heracles. Perhaps we could have a look at one or two in the book. <laughs> I believe there's a wonderful one. We, we know from classical civilization that Heracles had an encounter with the Amazons, and I believe there's something <laughs> like the equivalent in New Zealand, isn't there, where he ends up fighting the, the New Zealand women and uh, trying, trying to stop them getting the vote. So, for women. so in, in antiquity, Heracles fought the Amazons, and here he is um, <laughs> fighting the New Zealand women who, who are campaigning for the vote. So these, these are New Zealand Amazons, and of course, whereas Heracles defeated the Amazons in, in, in <laughs> classical myth, uh, unfortunately, he's, he's un completely unsuccessful because we know that New Zealand women did indeed get the vote. Absolutely. Uh, New Zealand was the very first country to um, give women the vote in about 1890, I think. Um, uh, they also had the very first ever female mayor as well. So this is, this is very typical of um, the Heracles in this series of prints in that, you know, he starts out trying to be the great conquering hero, but actually he's quite often rather defeated by the challenges posed by uh, being in New Zealand.